How's it going, everybody? This is Dave Tyner, and today I'm um, well, today and right now, I'm going to be showing you how to use this animator tool um, to do a really quick, um, basically, a building of your site uh, in 3ds Max. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up the animator animator, and I'm going to um, select everything here. Oh, I'm going to turn off these curtain walls, actually. And then I'm going to select everything. Then I'm going to add it to, just press that button, add to selection. Um, where do I want to animate from? Well, let's do that later. So I'm going to scale everything in, and I want this to be like a 9.7-ish. I want about about 1,000 frames, I guess. Maybe less, maybe a 9.8-er. Okay, 600, that's good. Um, just press Create Animation. And a couple seconds later... We are animating, but you notice we're kind of all over the map, right? <clears throat> and what we want to do is grow it out of the center, not that. So press reset keys. And that's going to delete all the keys, put everything back where it goes. If everything gets out of whack, just press it again. Um, and eventually everything will get back to its rightful place. And the only thing I'm going to do differently is I'm um, going to say by distance from object. And then I'm going to say this guy. And the, all the pivots are centered, so... It's going to go from the center of that guy and press the button. And then if I play that, that's more like it. <clears throat> so it's now coming out from the center, growing out from the center. Okay, good. And so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to unhide a layer here, these curtain walls. Okay. All right, so um, now we have those selected, and I want to go by layer, and uh, let's select that curtain wall. Um, so now that's locked in. It knows it's captured the position, rotation, everything of those. So uh, scale those in as well, and then let's go ahead and start it from that one. And uh, let's see, let's play with the timing a little bit. So I want to start around frame 550. And I want to go 9.99. Now how about 9? All right, that should be good. And I press uh, create animation. And so now if I scroll right around frame 550 we're going to see the first curtain wall appear right in this area so if we just spin that around maybe a little bit And at the same time, these these guys are going in because it it acts as a in a radius, so it goes out in a radius from that first point. All right, and then uh, that happens, and curtain walls incoming shortly. All right, so there you go. So that was a really fast way to animate um, this very large scene. And by large, I mean that. All right, thank you.